Hi there everyone and welcome to complete React.js web developer course with ES6 built-in projects. Now I know some of you might want to just skip this course introduction video but don't do that because there are a couple of ways by which you can enhance your learning experience and few tips by which you can proceed with this course. Now I won't be wasting your time let's just directly get into the meat part first of all what is React.js. Now we'll discuss thoroughly about React.js and everything but to be very quick it's a framework being developed by Facebook and it is just being designed so that websites and web apps can be high performing. And later on, you might want to jump into the React Native and anything like that in which you can design apps for iOS and Android using just JavaScript. So the journey starts from here, from the React. Okay, so let me quickly walk you through what this course covers and how you can take this course. Now, in case you are coming up from simple HTML, CSS and JavaScript background and you don't have any idea about ES6, then simply you might want to go into the section seven directly because this section is completely optional. And if you have no idea about ES6, then first go through with section seven, section eight, and then directly into section one. Okay, I hope you get that. Now, in case you have little bit idea about the ES6, like fat arrow function and a map for looping through uh, arrays and everything, then directly you can jump from the section one. Now in the section one, uh, we'll be doing about the introduction to the course, a little bit about what kind of mindset you required, few hello worlds app and therefore. Now from this point onward, I'll just appear at the very first of the section, that is what we'll be doing in this section. And that will explain what this section is about, what kind of project you will be doing and all such stuff, okay? So you don't need to worry about uh, any kind of overview that is being taken care of. Now after that, uh, you might be seeing a lot of projects being done and let me quickly walk you through with a couple of projects. Now, of course, time doesn't permit us to just uh, display all the projects in just one video. And definitely if you want to keep and uh, just take a look, uh, you can obviously go into these section. But let me quickly walk you through that what kind of uh, detail we are going to about to go in here. So this is one of the project that we'll be doing. There are many others as well. And uh, this is a complete login system in which we are dealing up with the Auth0 login system and APIs as well, okay? So it says click on the login to view GitHub viewer, okay? And as soon as I click on the login, we get, uh, let me click on not your account. It gives you a complete login system, login with Facebook, Google, Twitter, and from the email as well. There is a sign up exactly same form as there, and it works really nice. We can quickly create a user there and uh, you can just log in as there as well. I already have a user. Uh, you have full functionality of sign up as well. So it's uh, test at the rate tester.com and the password is just test user there. And as soon as I log in there, and in a second it's going to log me in and now you can see an api working there and you can query for any of uh, the github account just hit the enter and it will show you how many repositories are there followers following and pretty much everything so it's in a kind of a big app in itself and this is just one of the app that we'll be dealing up of course there are many other projects that you can go through and have a look like a complete project with the firebase auth0 reddit apis uh, routers, uh, templates, and a lot of tons of things are in here. Okay, now also let me walk you through with the Q&A section. Now in case you find any problem, you can post your questions there, but before posting any question, make sure you search for the question as well, because there are high chances student might have already asked the question uh, about that topic. Okay, so this is a quick introduction of the course about what the course is uh, actually, what it's going to teach and uh, how you can proceed with the course. And uh, without wasting any further more time, let's directly move on to the next movie and talk about what kind of mindset you need to learn React.js.